The factory is a buzz tonight. Let let them loose. Ouch! That one's gotta hurt. Looks like that's one mech for the trash heap. Peter Dexter is down there tonight. Back in his prime, it would have been a no-brainer who was going to win this one. But he's been in retirement for five years. And it's been eight years since he did his career best and placed 37th in the charts. He's back and nailed three victories in a row in the light circuit. Now he's primed to show the medium pilots what an old veteran can do. He ain't getting any younger, but he has a ton of talent and experience. I fought Peter back in the day, and he is one pilot who cannot be ignored. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of him this season. A lot of the viewers at home have a real romantic view of mech fighting from the holovids. I'll tell you what, it ain't what it seems. A lot of those mechs run hot, and those pilots sometimes come out smoking. Also, the noise in there can be deafening. If you're gonna try to dodge, it's best to dodge out of the way, not into it. I bet that pilot's thinking, hey, how'd I get hit? It's been a good match, a lot of clean kills along the way. Now we're down to our contenders for today's victor. We know who our final three are, but who's gonna be number one? Medium mechs have a healthy blend of firepower and speed. You don't spend a minute waiting for two guys to find each other here. The action is fast, and pilots who think quick on their feet can really clean house in this circuit. And for the audience, it's a treat too. If you don't like the action, then wait a minute and you'll have a whole different game. It's just that fast-paced. Ouch! And there goes Peter Dexter. A real shame, too. I thought he'd go the distance today, and I really did. And from the audience reaction, I think they were expecting it too. But there are plenty of games left in the season, and I'd be surprised if we don't see some more from the Grey Wolf. It's game over. Things are...